is up youtube what's cool what's cool what's happening so i'm back with another video i'm just gonna talk about this amazing weather we've been having in the uk it's been amazing by the way if you hear a sound that is the fan going without the fan i would melt into the chocolate drop that i have okay um it's a lot anywho so um i just want to talk about yesterday weather was beautiful i thought let me go out to the park you know let me walk let me walk around i said you no know, i was thirsty so i decided to stop and have a little bit to drink and sit by a bench sat there and as soon as i sat there a bee or a wasp or whatever that thing was just came right up to my face so i did the Whoa! and literally ran away and then i went to a nice park um and sat there for a bit and gotten some bread a friend of mine gave me some jam thank you so much you know who you are amazing jam and uh, yeah I sat in the park I was excited because I've been walking for hours and I was very hungry and I've been in this inter intermittent fasting thing so basically I started eating quite late and I hadn't eaten for so many hours so I was really hungry so yeah it was like past one almost two o'clock and I was extremely hungry so what I did was I was gonna sit down in the park like so many other people that I saw they were just chilling in the park I thought I could do that just chill have this nice jam sandwich and keep it pushing as soon as I sat down something started crawling on my arm so yeah I left that scene as well then I went and sat on the bench and another wasp or bee came towards me now, I know that we're in their habitat so it is whatever but it's just annoying Anywho, then eventually I walked even more these geese and swans were coming towards me I mean in their numbers there were a lot would have filmed it if I wasn't scared <laughs> okay they came towards me and I was like so I figured that there must have been people feeding them close to me and that's why they were coming towards me so I looked and there was there were these people just throwing their bread at them so I started looking at them like that and then they started throwing the bread like way over there so they all went away and then after a while i was there and this there was a whole bunch of them they were in the water and they were coming towards me coming towards me coming towards me and i just looked at them and i just i literally said nope and then they went away so that was that yeah see the thing is the day before, I'd already taken a whole loaf of bread looking for ducks to feed. But this right here, okay, is sourdough bread because some of this bread really upsets my stomach because I've got IBS and all the rest of it. So, yeah, some of this bread really upsets my stomach. So I went out to buy sourdough bread and I wasn't about to chuck this expensive fresh bread at these uh, geese and the swans. Anyway, what I really wanted to talk about is this ice cream. It is summertime still it's almost september is crazy global warming need to get it together but anyway and i found this ice cream um, and they're selling it at waitrose so they don't sell these things everywhere but this is the alpro it's by alpro it's the ice cream almond salted caramel it looks like that and so it's got some it's almond salted caramel and it's got some um, almonds in there Ooh, and it's got caramel in the middle right there if you can see that and I really like this stuff now, I'm eating it out of the thing because I know I'm not gonna share this with anybody if I knew I was gonna share it I wouldn't be doing this so don't worry I'm a germaphobe we don't do that over here so it's got no sweeteners less sugar and it's nice like I like this brand because I tried another one from Tesco and that thing was mm -mm. You know how with these soya, these, these plant-based things, sometimes it can be quite, like almost like frothy, where with other ice creams it would melt, it just becomes kind of frothy and weird. But yeah, this one doesn't do that. This one, well not quite anyway. I just like that there's caramel in there. These people have been able to whip up some vegan um, caramel and it tastes really, really good. So I'm gonna have a bite. It's funny how they say there's less sugars and no sweeteners 
because it is so sweet as you can imagine with the salted caramel well it's nice and and um, almond bits are not too overpowering And it's free from dairy and gluten 100% plant-based 30% less sugars no sweeteners 30% less saturated fats and free from colors we like it so even here in the, the picture there you can see kind of what it is like so it doesn't have like a lot a lot of almond pieces which the other one which I probably should have reviewed was did have so much that one was a hazelnut and it was just overbearing it was just so much hazelnut and all our ice cream mm. Mm. this one is really nice i'm reviewing it now because i've already gone through about half or whatever what i just don't like about this thing is the packaging i feel like the <laughs> like what is this like it's all like but I'm sure it saves the planet. Obviously, it's not plastic, so I think that's a good thing. That's definitely a good thing. But somehow, I like the way it does this because then now when you're looking to put the top back on, it's going to be really, really difficult slash impossible. And you know, you need a good lid on there. But yeah, that's it. I really like it. Is there anything else? It's like. It doesn't even have a lot of carbohydrates, nothing like what is this thing even made of? All these vegetable fats and stuff. Um just caramelized sugar. Corn fiber sugar. Mm -hmm. Bunch of things that are making me wonder how the heck did they make ice cream out of this? Water, corn fiber, sugar, vegetable fats. Uh, fructose glucose syrup glucose syrup dextrose um, emulsifiers natural flavoring sea salt like what like modified start I mean I guess you can't expect it to have a texture like uh, Ben and Jerry's or one of these things because it's not made with dairy so well, Ben and Jerry's are the dairy free version but it's super expensive I don't know who is buying that it's very expensive and I tried the peanut butter one there and it wasn't really that great I didn't think and then once you've tried the dairy stuff it's like nah fam this ain't it but this one is pretty solid so if you're looking for a nice ice cream I'll say give this a try and proceed with caution <laughs> don't eat too much of it even though it doesn't have as many calories and sugars and stuff like other ones it's not very good for your pocket but fortunately because I'm lactose intolerant these are the type of things I go for hope you enjoyed this video make sure you tune in because I'll be having many more I know I always say that but just bear with me okay the girl's going through some things so yeah stay tuned for the next video make sure you hit bump stop as zone to that subscribe button and hit that notification bell you already know what's up and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you make time for glorious life. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.